A lot of people lately have been asking me about low light focusing with the Fuji X-T3. And if you are using this camera correctly, if you understand how to use the focusing modes, face detection on or off, zone, single square, continuous or um, single servo, you know, it locks on the image rather than always focusing. If you learn your equipment properly, you can work in any scenario. Last night's job was a very low lit room and I'm going to show you some images that I got. Roll the intro. I get the same looks from photographers that I do regular people on the job with this X-T3 because it's the silver body that looks a little old school. And everybody, I swear to you, man, everybody sees the size of this camera and I think they naturally assume, what is this guy working with? They just don't expect the results that I get because of the vision of what I'm holding. I know it seems weird, but it's so true, man. So last night's event was more like practice for me with this lens because I was curious on how well did it focus in low light. This room they had was very dark. It was pretty, it was barely lit well, honestly. And this thing found the eyes as long as I was holding still, because it does not have image stabilization, as long as I was holding still and my F, my shutter speed was fast enough, they were looking really, really good. So what's really neat about, this is not a sponsored video by any means, um, Peak Design, you are welcome to sponsor me, my friend. I love y'all's products. I need, a, I need a new bag. Wink, wink, wink. Um, but this thing is awesome. Look, you hear that? Now they have it set to where if you're in a wedding or a church and it's quiet, if you pull up, it's so much, it's like hardly anything. Instead of, instead of that, you just kind of, that's it. Isn't that cool? Anyway, this is my 85. This is my Canon lens, 85, 1.8 with the Fringer adapter. Look at these images, dude. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you, I was shooting at least 3200 ISO, 2500 to 3200. Every once in a while, I'll go to 4000. But since the room was as dark as it was, I didn't want to go to a much higher ISO than 3200 because I knew, you know, less light enhances your grain and your noise. It just does. If you have a lot of light or enough light to expose your image, you don't see that grain. You see grain in really poorly lit areas. And for all of you that are wondering how well does the Fuji X-T3 focus, fantastic job. Um, what I absolutely do all the time when I'm working is changing my focusing um, settings as far as if I'm doing zone, do I want just a little square? Am I looking for the eyes? Am I not looking for the eyes in the autofocus? And I'm so used to working this camera now, I just know that when I go to take a picture of four people, five people, whatever it is, I can turn the face detection on, boop, it finds the eyes, boom, 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 boom. I'm good, man. But if I'm shooting in a crowded room and I'm trying to get in between people or whatever it is, turn the face detection off. And then also change how you wanna focus, whether it's the single dot or the zone, 
What I love about the single dot is that you can make it as big or as small as you want. So when you have something in the distance and it's a small head that you're focusing because you're far away, reduce the size of your focusing square and put it right on that person. It is crazy cool, man. And if your face detection is on, it will find the eyes, even with that little bitty dot. It's wild. So look, I'll be the first one to tell you, if you can afford Fuji lenses, buy them, use them. The Fringer adapter is fine for me with that 85 1.8, but I'll be the first one to tell you, I rented that 56 1.2. Oh man, that is a sweet lens. Dear Lord, is it so sweet. Um, I just don't have the money for it right now and the Fringer is a third of the price and I'm doing fine with my focal point on 85. But I'll be the first one to tell you, man, as soon as I have extra money somewhere, I'm gonna buy that lens. I'm gonna show you guys real jobs, real images that I deliver to clients because if you're like me, a working photographer or even a serious amateur photographer and you're browsing these YouTube videos, I know you would really rather see true usability with this equipment and not just a bunch of stats, you know? There are many aspects of working an event that goes way beyond just the tech of your camera, you know? I use Capture One. If you use Lightroom, I was Lightroom for years, man. I love Capture One, but understanding how you're gonna work the file later is exactly how you wanna working on the job because when you do this correctly you know capture one is easy and you know your results so look if you're one of those people that are curious of whether or not the fuji xt3 focuses well or not in low light yes it does all right so do what you do hit that subscribe hit the like button if you appreciate what i'm doing here and please join my subs down below in the comment section we all like to encourage each other i like knowing who is following me so i can go follow you and which by the way go check us out on the instagram page focus with gk where that instagram page is strictly for this youtube channel and we'll continue the conversation over there DM me along the way, send me some images. If you want to critique, you have some, you need some assistance. It doesn't matter. I'm here, all right? In between working all day long and in between, I love being able to answer some comments and questions and uh, carry that into one of the next videos. So I do have a subscriber spotlight I'm gonna be doing very soon. I DM'd him today on Instagram and I like his work, man. It's really, really cool. He uh, captures insects and animals, birds, like you name it, but the way he shoots them with the macro is wild. It's wild. That's, that's coming, okay, you guys? But look, have a fantastic evening. I gotta go. I, re I really do. I gotta go get my daughter from dance school, man, in about five minutes. I really do have to go, man. Uh, happy summer. I'm going to see you in the next video. Remember to stay focused on your dreams or else what else are you doing around here? You know what I'm saying? Peace.